Good afternoon. I dropped my kids off at the airport in Berlin and they are flying back home as we speak. And I took the train down to Nuremberg, which is where I am now. Beautiful city so far, looking forward to seeing it. Kids and I had a great time. We went to Berlin, Krakow, Bratislava, Vienna, Brno and Prague, and then back to Berlin, and then they left. So two, a little over two weeks. It's an amazing trip, gonna miss them terribly. And now I'm moving on to my own adventure here. Nuremberg today, and then Munich tomorrow. Nuremberg was much more Bavaria than Berlin did. Maybe because it's in Bavaria and Berlin is not. But this is what I think of when I think of Germany. That is St. Lawrence Church back there. I want to see that now. A cool looking brick design on that building. <laughs> Church, but it's all under construction. Hospital of the Holy Spirit. Pretty beautiful hospital. Here's an even more beautiful church, Church of Our Lady. Appears to have a very interesting clock on the front. This square is amazing. Got a marketplace here. Got an awesome fountain. Another church back there. church is more stunning on the outside than the Church of St. Lawrence, but it was less stunning on the inside. It is smaller. This is one of the more beautiful fountains that I've seen. Very ornate. Legend has it if you turn this gold ring three times, it'll bring you good luck. We'll do that. This is great. I went to the tourist information office. They gave me this map, and it basically has a walking tour on it. So you can just hit all the highlights of the city, of the old town, in about 90 minutes. Great deal. It's free. Love it. This is a beautiful bridge with a not so beautiful name. This is called Hangman's Bridge. That is the town hall or Rathaus. And over there is St. Sebald's Church. Both are incredibly beautiful buildings. Pretty spectacular doorways, too. Well, I think of the three churches I've seen since I've been here, this one is the most magnificent St. Sebald's Church. This church was first built in 1225, but this latest renovation is from 1906. This 
stained glass. It's just incredible. A lot of these buildings have sundials on them. It's at least the third one I've seen. down the road from the Imperial Castle, down the hill. This is more of the castle. city from the castle. Amazing view. museum and the tower. So I'm going to go do that all right now. Observatory starting in 1677. So here's some of the astronomical instruments. This is the main clock of the observatory, and it was built in 1700. Apparently, very accurate. This armor was only used when riding horses, you couldn't walk in it for obvious reasons. And there's some horse armor. That well was really cool. They, the guide there poured some water into it and it took about five seconds before you heard it at the bottom. It was 50 meters deep. This is where they got most of their water for the castle during the Middle Ages. Took them a long time to dig it. I'm heading into the tower. It's gonna be a lot of stairs. So it's 385 meters up, that's over a thousand feet. I'm out of breath. Great view from up here. There's Saint Seaball. That's what the castle looked like in 1945 after the bombings in World War II. They've done a great job of restoring it. Nuremberg Castle, the Imperia Palace. Lots of great history here. Lots of great views here. 
definitely worth seeing. Nine euros to see the whole thing. I thought that was a great deal. suspension bridge over the river there but it's closed for construction. It's the other side of Hangman's Bridge. I'm gonna try and go across it if I can. What a picturesque shot that is. It's like a postcard. This is the view from Hangman's Bridge. That's out the right side. And this is out the left side. Wow. This is Ludwig's Platz, or Ludwig Square. This is called the Marriage Merry-Go-Round Fountain. Very interesting fountain. St. Elizabeth's Church on the right, St. James' Church on the left. Two churches right next to each other. Sausages for dinner. Yay. And a dunkel beer. Oh my god, the food was so good. If you're in Nuremberg, come to this place. Some golden stern. I got the bratwurst and sauerkraut. It was the best sauerkraut I ever had. Awesome. This is called the Way of Human Rights. All these sayings about human rights all down here. That is the Opera House. Richard Wagner Platz. Really enjoyed Nuremberg. I thought it was a very interesting city. A lot of history. And there's a lot of things to do here. I thought that walking tour that they gave me at the information center was perfect. They said it would take an hour and a half, but it took me about three hours because I spent a couple of hours in the castle. So if you're planning on doing the castle, the whole thing's probably take three, three and a half hours. And then the dinner I had here was just phenomenal. So the food was so good. Really enjoyed it. It's a very beautiful city. If you're in Germany, I would highly recommend adding this to your agenda. Loved it.